Hello. Let's see if this is working or not. Uh, I believe it is. Those of you that have uh, joined me, uh, this is my first attempt at a Facebook Live for more than just one person. Uh, had not used this technology before, and I had planned on having a uh, event at um, a library today, and it just would not. Uh, uh, it wasn't working, and they didn't give me that option. So I just wanted to uh, touch base and let you know a little bit about me and uh, a little bit about um, the, uh, let's see if I can, I'm not getting all of the uh, information as, as far as uh, streaming or viewing or everything else. But uh, um, let me see what I can uh do with that. If you're commenting on that, on this, and I'm not seeing it, uh, I apologize. No, I can see. Um, I've got individuals that are commenting. Uh, just a little bit about me. My name is Fred Cox. Uh, I'm an architect. I have lived my whole life in Utah. That doesn't mean that I haven't visited other places. But uh, I wanted to, um, in 1980, I attended a, uh, a caucus meeting. Uh, whatever they were calling it back then, and they selected some delegates to go to a meeting, and I was uh, going to be leaving the country for a couple of years. I signed up to receive my ballot in 1980, and by the time I got my ballot, I found out that Ronald Reagan was president, uh, so I missed that election. But ever since, I've always voted. In uh, 1992, I had somebody approach me, uh, Ron Bigelow, and he said, uh, will you deliver some flyers for me? And I thought, sure, I can do that. And so I helped him, um, along with many other people, get elected. In 2002, I uh, attended a uh, caucus meeting. I wanted to have more input, um, but uh, I... Uh, so I attended and was selected to be a state delegate, and I have done that a number of times since then. In, uh, in, 19, in 2008, I told uh, somebody that they needed to win at convention. They didn't, and when they didn't win, I told them afterward I would help them get elected. And then I've been doing that since then. In 2010, I found out that my uh, representative for the Utah House of Representatives was stepping down to be the state budget director. And uh, I spent four or five hours deciding uh, whether or not to run or not, and I did. I had a $60 budget, and I was able to uh, win a spot in the Utah House of Representatives for two years. And, uh, and then I ran again against another incumbent because of redistricting and lost uh, one again two years later. Um, I actually had to wait two weeks to find out who won, and I had. Uh, and then I've run the last two times, uh, needed three more votes to get out of convention. I wanted to uh, let you know, so I, I have experience being in the legislature. I have been involved in a number of other things. Hang on just a minute. Don't want anybody coughing. That tends to freak people out these days. I wanted to also let you know why I got involved, uh, why I made that decision um, in the end of 2010, beginning of 2011. And that is, is, I believe if we do not speak up, we see our constitutional rights disappear. We see government making decisions that we do not agree with, and we can be involved in a number of things. Most recently, uh, at the end of 2019, I saw a tax bill uh, being proposed, and that tax bill was something I didn't agree with. I had fought raising tax on, on food. I didn't agree with raising tax on fuel. I didn't agree with taking $680 million out of the education fund and not telling us what was going to happen, how they were going to solve that. I didn't agree with them changing the way that we fund roads, and I didn't agree with all these new taxes on services particularly since we had a surplus at the time. It didn't make sense. And when I watched and saw that they did not get two-thirds of, of both houses, they didn't get two-thirds of either of them eventually, 
I knew it was subject to a referendum. I contacted some liberal and conservative friends, found out that there was support. And so I was the uh, chief original sponsor along with uh, four others to uh, file the referendum to uh, repeal or to put on hold the 2019 uh, tax bill. And we were successful in getting the signatures and the legislature decided to repeal it. And so that's one of the things I've done recently. I have been involved in other items. I've been involved in a neighborhood watch. I've been involved in Rotary. Um, I believe that we should be involved as much as we can. One of the things that I also wanted to point out is uh, our current incumbent is, is uh, for this particular seat, uh, Michael Jensen is, did not file for running again. Um, that was his decision and uh, he mentioned a couple of reasons why he might not have run again and, and I'll let him discuss that. But one thing that I want to point out is this seat has been a swing seat. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bought bad. But I want to realize, want you to realize that I have an independent streak. Um, you could ask Representative Brian King at the legislature, and I'm not partisan as far as he's concerned because I would vote for or against a bill um, based on what the bill said, not who the sponsor was. So that's important for you to know. Um, some recent votes that the uh, county council did that I disagree with, um, I would not have voted for the uh, Olympia Hills project and I've got a blog post that you can go to and read why. Uh, I believe it was too much too fast and I believe that was a bad decision and I have a lot of experience in that area uh, as an architect as far as designing mixed-use buildings etc. Um, so I believe that was a mistake. I also believe it was a mistake for the County Council to back the mayor uh, when the mayor decided to um, add additional um, restrictions on uh, gun shows at county complexes. I do not believe that was in the uh, constitutional authority of the county mayor, and I do not believe she should have done that. I also strongly disagreed with the mayor on some recent decisions having to do with the virus. Uh, we should be encouraging people to be smart, uh, to decrease the likelihood of it spreading, but when you shut down businesses and you put penalties of up to a year or more on individuals for gathering, I believe that was a mistake and they should not have done that. And the governor asked and basically um, told the mayor to back off. And yes, the virus is very important. Um, I do want to point out that I I know people that have the virus. Uh, I worked with Ben McAdams. Uh, he was the only one willing to sponsor a redistricting map for congressional districts uh, on a bipartisan basis. Um, there are others that I know that are sick. Um, and so we should worry about them and do what we can to take care of each other. Um, our area uh, had a recent earthquake. I live just over six miles away from the epicenter. And yes, I had things knocked over. I still have a number of things that I need to pick up. But um, I was safe and a number of people were as well. But there are others that um, are running short on demands. I was at a house earlier today and somebody was nice enough to bring uh, some paper towels and some uh, napkins, paper napkins to somebody there. Uh, that impressed me. Uh, they had some of the items uh, for a party and they thought that this person could use them. We need to share with each other. I think that's very important. Why uh, run for county council too? Well, earlier this year, I was focused on the referendum. I was not planning on running for county council. In fact, I told people I didn't know what I was doing this year because I was focused on the referendum. My representative uh, encouraged me to look at the county council space. And uh, I contacted uh, uh, Richard Snellgrove and asked a number of questions of him and uh, Amy Winder Newton, individuals that I know on the county council, to ask them questions um, and what the time commitment is. When I served in the legislature, I was uh, strictly self-employed. That meant that if I lost work, if I lost business, it was my problem, it was my fault. And yes, uh, there was some specific cost to my business. 
I, for over a year, I have worked for another firm uh, as an employee. Uh, my boss is an architect. He's also a contractor. And looking at my schedule, this would work a lot better for me to be involved in the county council. The county has a budget, uh, depending on how you count it, in excess of a billion dollars. I believe that we can save a lot of money. Um, and I, I'm not saying that uh, without any background. I fought moving the prison from Draper, not because Draper doesn't need some more tax base, but because I believe that we would save hundreds of millions of dollars if we did not move the prison. There was enough property there. We could build a new prison where we needed new buildings and we could keep the buildings that uh, we wanted to keep that were still in good condition and still free up a number of uh, acres of land uh, in prime property. Um, the legislature, uh, my fellow feather, my, uh, the other colleagues did not agree with my uh, proposal and they went a different direction. Uh, I believe that if we can create win-win scenarios, that's very important. Uh, if any of you have any specific questions, I am seeing some comments uh, off to the side on my screen. Hopefully you can comment. I can see things that say, wish you luck, sir, and you're doing great. Uh, um, so I would appreciate any comments. I did have somebody ask me earlier uh, today. Um, why I was concerned about being elected right now, uh, because people are concerned about the virus, they're concerned about the uh, earthquake, why even have this meeting at all? And the reason is pretty simple. In about a month, around the 18th of April, uh, county delegates will make a determination. We have three Republican candidates for this race. They will determine whether uh, any of us will face a primary or not, and so we've got uh, less than uh, 30 days for that to happen. Uh, if there is a primary at the end of June, you may have one or two candidates. Uh, obviously, two candidates would, would show up on the, on the primary if we have a primary. If we don't have a primary for this office, it'll be this fall. There is a Democrat that has filed. Um, the other candidates are impressive. Uh, the Democrat has worked in, in education and military uh, we've got another member uh, that used to be a county mayor, and we've got somebody currently serving in the city council. Um, I will say one thing that's a little different about me is I typically vote against tax increases. Um, you can look at my record. I've got four years of a record. If you go to my website, to my blog, uh, go to 2011, 12, 15, 16, I have a link to a page with my entire uh, voting record. Not everybody shares that. Uh, if you see something that I voted for or said, uh, my blog goes back over 10 years. I've got comments that you probably will agree with or don't agree with, but you should be able to find out something about me. My website isn't fancy. I did it myself. It shows, but it's got some good information as far as uh, a biography, uh, what I've been involved in, and other things. It's, uh, I'm looking for some other comments or questions. But I want you to know um, that it is important. Let me double check one other place. Hopefully this does not mess it up. Um, I want to see if there's any other comments that I'm uh, seeing and I'm not. Uh, so let me tell you some other things that I think is important for Salt Lake County to do. Salt Lake County has a jail. Uh, I know a little bit about jails. I worked on the drawings for the uh, Oxbow misdemeanor facility when it was called that. I worked on the uh, um, Gunnison Prison um, and as a neighborhood watch chair I have worked with police officers. That's a very important part uh, that our county is involved with. Um, I don't know Sim Gill uh, really well uh, but I know who he is. He knows who I am. Uh, I worked with his dad on the Sikh Temple expansion uh, as an architect. And uh, I have a lot of respect for uh, our police, uh, what we used to call sheriffs, uh, first responders. That's very important. But there are a number of things that the county is involved in, and I wonder if it needs to be involved anymore. We have metro townships. We have a lot of other things. I believe that we should be able to reduce our budget dramatically. Uh, and that isn't going to happen overnight. 
uh, but I have started going through uh, the 2020 budget uh, and some other items. Uh, I want to uh, let you know, uh, let's see, somebody mentioned me a comment. Um, let's see. Hopefully you can, I've messed this up, I think. Uh, can you hear me again? Um, so um, that, uh, as again, a learning curve, uh, but I was just trying to uh, um, uh, respond to a comment and, and uh, I can see some of them, but I can't see all of them. I want you to know that uh, it's important that individuals read through what they're voting for. When I was in the legislature, I had uh, one of the best uh, attendance records. And the reason why is I wanted to hear the comments. I wanted to hear comments not only from Republicans and Democrats. I wanted to see if there was a reason why that bill was not ready for prime time. I had the opportunity in many cases to propose amendments because I didn't feel like um, the uh, video, the video, the bill was ready. And uh, in many cases, I stood up for a motion to amend. Some of those took place. Uh, they happened. Some of them didn't. I voted against a number of things that I did not believe were ready. So I believe that it's important that we have uh, individuals in office that read through what they're going to vote for or against. Uh, they shouldn't just count on staff to tell them what to do. That's important. I also believe that we should be able to be representatives. One of the reasons that I was uh, opposed to the Olympia Hills project is I had the opportunity, uh, I had been in a meeting up on the Hill uh, having to do with a referendum, uh, meeting with the Senate president, uh, but I was able to catch the last hour of a town hall meeting in Harriman where a number of representatives expressed why they did not believe the Olympia, Olympia Hills project should be a uh, approved as proposed. And so uh, this particular representative, uh, County uh, Council District 2, represents uh, West Valley, at least the west part of West Valley, uh, Kearns, um, Magna, uh, Copperton, uh, the west part of, of West Jordan, west of uh, 111, and uh, west part of South Jordan and part of Harriman, a little bit of Riverton. But because this representative represented those people and those people were truly against the development, why would our representative vote for it? I don't believe that he should have. Uh, I believe that was a mistake. Everybody's got strengths and weaknesses. People make mistakes all the time. But as a representative, I believe that I would have responded to the local people that did not feel like that was the right thing to do. I wrote a proposed compromise. I put it on, on my blog. I sent it to all nine members of the county council. I got responses back from three of them, the three people that voted against the proposal. But my compromise was not accepted. So uh, I believe that there could have been a win-win scenario, taking into account that we have a developer that wants to do something they believe to be good, and people in that area that believe that the, the choice made by the county council was wrong. Um, with the proposed referendum uh, against that, uh, I don't know what will happen with the current virus and other situation. They're going to have a hard time uh, blocking that. Uh, and once that uh, development agreement is signed by the, by the uh, uh, county, it's a contract and a new city can't change that. Uh, but as an architect that works with zoning ordinances and works with uh, uh, development agreements, I will do the best job that I can to help those individuals uh, so they do not see the nightmare that they are afraid that they will get. Um, some things are, are locked into place, but there are things that I can do. I believe that it is a important thing for us as a community to care about each other like that lady that brought some things to somebody's door today because they thought they would need it. We need to do that 
now. Um, I made a comment earlier on my Facebook uh, page. It was my personal one. But I wanted, uh, I want you to know that we should practice take some and leave some. When you go to the store and uh, the aisle is almost empty, um, if that's something we don't need right now, or that we could have just a, a few things, we shouldn't be clearing out aisles. Um, the grocery stores are working very hard to put things back. Uh, but the grocery store uh, that I went to earlier today, um, they had a number of things in stock, a uh, number of things that I hadn't thought about, and maybe that wasn't so smart, but I got a couple of things because they had extra of. And we need to be careful with that. Uh, they were being careful not to spread the virus, um, but they were also being careful to make sure that people had food. Uh, we need to look out for each other. Um, a number of people are working from home. Uh, even though I've got a full-time job, uh, my boss has asked me to work from home, and I have the technology to do that. Uh, I also have the type of job where I can. Not everybody can. I am very concerned. Uh, one of the things that I've done for the last 20 years is I have helped small business owners get their business open as an architect. In many cases, I have done work without getting paid a lot for that project. Um, one of the reasons I started working for somebody else is I, it was nice to have money in my checking account working for somebody else. But uh, I, a lot of the people I've done work with are restaurant owners. These restaurant owners, many of those restaurants were not designed for takeout. They were not designed for drive through They are trying things now to stay open. Some of them are closed. Whether they should be closed uh, by the government or their own decision is, uh, is up to you. I believe that that's, we live in a free uh, country. And uh, I understand the reasons why uh, people are encouraging people not to uh, get in large groups. Uh, I've watched the videos. I understand the motivation, but um, these businesses need our help. Uh, if you're in a position to support them, uh, do so. Um, I have worked on drawings for in excess of 100 restaurants. Uh, some of them were chains. Uh, some of them were uh, individual small business owners that have never opened a restaurant before. I have concerns with them and many other people that are currently out of work or limited work. What we can do, we should do to help these business owners. The governments, uh, uh, federal and state and local, are saying, oh, well, the government ought to do all these things to help people. And in many cases, uh, if somebody needs help, uh, we do have a government that could help, but that shouldn't be the first um, group to respond. We have other individuals, other organizations that can respond. That's one of the reasons I got involved involved with Rotary is because um, with over a million people around the world, Rotary can do a number of things um, through a volunteer basis. It's important. Uh, one of the things our Rotary Club has done is uh, we've raised money for uh, Mayor Bigelow's uh, building that he's building for veterans. Uh, we've raised tens of thousands of dollars uh, in multiple years, uh, so a lot more than that when you add it all up. Uh, we've helped a individual individuals that are trying to get on their feet, um, and uh, we've provided uh, Thanksgiving dinner for uh, hundreds of people multiple years, uh, and sub for Santa, there's things that we each can do everywhere to help other people. So if you know people that need to help, help them. If you haven't heard from anybody, check on them. Um, I made some phone calls today, and I need to make some more. But you need to check on your neighbors, individuals, um, and see how they're doing. I uh, recently lost a uh, member of my uh, family. Um, and uh, they were planning the funeral this morning and people were worried, you know, can we have more than 10 people show up to a viewing? What do we do with that? Uh, people are making tough decisions right now. Um, we need to be supportive. Uh, phone calls uh, can be helpful. I called a couple of aunts that live in, di in different places a uh, long ways away because I haven't talked to them for a while. Don't 
be afraid to send a text. Don't feel afraid to make a phone call. If it's appropriate and uh, it's safe to do so, don't um, be afraid to smile at somebody. Uh, tell somebody to have a good day. Um, the virus is serious. Uh, New York has just skyrocketed recently uh, with the number of cases. Now, whether that's because they finally have to test, to test or because there is uh, an outbreak, uh, I'll let you make that decision. But we can do many things. Um, based on the questions that I'm currently getting or receiving, uh, I want you to uh, know, let's see, um, how would you improve on public transportation, free fares, increased fares, hours, etc.? cetera? Um, thank you. Um, transportation is something that the county is involved with. Um, we have county roads. Uh, UTA is specifically involved, and it's a different organization, but it is funded by taxpayers. Um, UTA can make decisions as far as free fares and other things, um, but roads are important. And even though I was heavily involved in the referendum, obviously, and I did not want them to raise the tax on fuel or change the funding, there are some critical things. Um, our constitution, our state constitution, says that uh, transportation-related taxes should go to roads. I believe that includes transportation-related sales tax. The legislature was proposing to change that. There is $600 million that is transportation-related uh, that our state constitution sends to uh, roads. Uh, it's about half of the money that our state uses. Uh, the other is, is, is fuel tax. I do not know what our county and cities do with the uh, transportation related sales tax that they receive. Could that or should that go to roads? Should that go to transportation? Um, I lived in Australia for a couple of years. I saw other transportation methods. I liked the light rail system there. And so um, our track system is something that I think is very interesting. Uh, I believe that we uh, mortgaged uh, too much into the future for light rail and uh, specifically for front runner. Maybe that'll pay for itself, uh, but that put UTA in serious debt that has limited what they can do and what they can't do. Um, and so uh, I understand why they're not doing some of the things that I think they should be doing, and that's because they spent the money that they had uh, and, and money that they didn't have. They will recover from that uh, as we are supporting them where we can or where it makes sense. Um, but I certainly agree that uh, government should not make it harder for us in this situation. Uh, that's why I disagree with some of the decisions that were made recently by government officials, uh, because I do believe that government shouldn't make it harder on us. Uh, that's why I fought the, uh, the tax referendum, uh, uh, fought the, the taxes through the referendum, because it would make it harder for individuals to take money that they had um, pay for gas, pay for food. And even though the government was going to give money back, uh, the best thing that the government can do is not take the money in the first place. There are proposals currently to um, reduce or, or take into account the timelines as far as when we pay our taxes. I don't know what that'll do for uh, the state or federal, but I would rather the government not take our money in the first place uh, then uh, get another check back in the mail, even though I do like getting checks in the mail. Uh, that's very important. Uh, transportation is very important. Um, whether UTA can waive for 30 days uh, uh, the cost to ride tracks or ride a bus, whether that's a good idea or not, I do know that we need to uh, reduce the amount of contact we have with each other uh, as much as is appropriate. Uh, keep distances of six feet. Uh, I had the opportunity of, of going into a building recently. It was the first time I'd walked in a building and somebody carefully uh, 
changed the uh, device and tested my temperature to make sure I wasn't sick before they didn't let me in the building. Uh, people are making uh, decisions to try to avoid uh, the spreading anymore, and I appreciate that. Uh, we have places in West Valley and other places where they are testing and treating individuals with the virus. Um, we should be aware of that and be careful. Um, the older people, and I say that uh, I'm not yet 60, but I do want you to know that uh, um, many of my friends uh, are over 60, um, and many of them might be more at risk. I want you to know that uh, there are things that we can do. Uh, I've got another town hall meeting scheduled for next uh, Saturday at 10 o'clock. I may be able to use Zoom to make it easier to have feedback. Um, uh, again, I appreciate the comments that I've got. Um, let's see if I've got any more questions. Um, uh, at this point, I, I don't. I want to tell you a couple other things that's very important that you should know about me. Uh, when I was in the legislature, I would read bills between midnight and 2 in the morning. Every night, I would be up. I would print out a list of bills that I would have to be voting on the next day. And towards the end of the session, I was always printing out lists of which bills were coming up so that I could read through them in advance and vote on them. In some cases, they gave us very little time to vote on some of those bills. I believe that's a mistake. Um, our county council is set up so we have a vote, and then the next week you basically vote on it again for critical items. That's what happened on the on the uh, um, Olympia Hills project. They actually voted one week, and then they came back and voted again the following week. I believe that we should be careful what we vote for. Um, we have specific rights. As a legislature, I swore to uphold uh, our U.S. Constitution, our state constitution. It's the same oath of office for a county council seat. And I will look each time and see if, if the county council has created a scenario where the mayor has got too much power or is the county council doing something that is unconstitutional? That's the first thing I'm going to look for. I'm also going to look for basic principles um, because I do not believe that the government shouldn't solve. I do not believe that government should solve everything. I tend to be conservative, um, and uh, that's good or bad depending on who you ask for. But I will look for win-win scenarios. And if the Democrats have a great idea, but I don't believe it's ready for prime time, if I can figure out a way of making it work so that it is or it is a win-win, uh, I don't have a problem with that. I may be the only one voting against something sometimes because uh, voting no is sometimes better than voting yes for something that's bad. Um, based on the comments that I've got, those are the things that I – heard uh, the most on. Um, I will um, see what else I've got. I'm getting some comments that some people can't post or can't make the comments. I am getting some messages, uh, Facebook messages I am receiving. So if you've been trying to ask me a question, I'll stick on for a little bit. Uh, send me a, a Facebook personal message. The page messages I'm not seeing right now in this setup, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I will get smarter at this, but I do know one thing. I care about people. Um, people are more important than things, than money, than everything else. Um, one of the reasons that I am running is because I care about people. And I care that government uh, does what it should do and doesn't do what it shouldn't do. That's very important. Um, I, uh, When I worked on this referendum, uh, when I contacted people, I contacted my most liberal and conservative friends, and I asked them uh, to show respect, to work with each other. In most cases, that worked very well. Um, our county is full of individuals that have different opinions. We have Republicans. We have Democrats. We have independents. We have unaffiliated. We have libertarians. We have constitutional. We have green. We have everything. Our county council uh, represents the entire county, full of people with different opinions. We should create solutions that work 
for everybody, not just for one group. Um, I am hopeful in the future that we will have fewer by four or six three decisions from the county council, that we have more decisions that are made uh, where we have come up with a solution that everybody agrees with. That would be a much better county council to have us unified and working together. And even though I have strongly disagreed with our current county mayor on certain issues, um, I believe that she is trying to do the best job that she can based on her information. Um, how would you, uh, let's see, would you be willing to examine the possibility of countywide rationing system for events like uh, this virus? Um, may not help the current situation, but I might in the future. Uh, wouldn't be popular, but it might make a big difference in certain circumstances. Uh, I believe that uh, in certain circumstances like this, we should take some and leave some. I was taught that at um, meals. Uh, if you're at a, a family dinner, that's just being the right thing to do. I was taught that at buffets. You don't wipe out all the chicken so that no one else gets any. That's what's been happening in some of our grocery stores. I believe that we need to show leadership. I don't know that the government should be saying you can only buy one roll of toilet paper right now. Uh, stores, in many cases, are saying that because people have abused uh, and have filled up their shopping carts, and so there is no toilet paper for anybody. That's the wrong thing to do. Um, I believe that most people have just bought uh, a package for themselves and maybe two so that they wouldn't run, run out but we should as a people treat everybody else with respect I don't think the government should be setting uh, things I remember in uh, I was I think it was 1978-79 I was in Washington DC and there were um, there was a run on fuel it was hard. You'd have to wait for hours just to get a couple of gallons of gas. I've seen what happens when people panic, and I believe that leadership can help and that people as a whole have the ability and, the, and actually care enough about others that if they're just basically asked, even if you can go buy eight, eight packages of toilet paper, don't right now because there's other people that have less than six rolls or less than two rolls that need to buy. I want you to know that I think that's the way to solve things most of the time. Um, I want you to know that I think that this people, the people of Utah, are some of the best people that I have met worldwide and that some of the best people I know live in this county. One of the reasons that I've lived in West Valley for over 30 years is because of the people that I know. But I have met great people in other areas of this valley. I've lived my whole life basically in Salt Lake County, other than uh, a couple of years someplace else and in, uh, in the opportunities to visit other places in the world. Uh, I ask you to be careful what you do, not to spread this virus, but I also ask you to help other businesses where you can, help other people where you can. That is important. And so when uh, somebody delivers toilet paper to an aisle, if you need toilet paper, get some. But if you don't, leave some for somebody that, that needs it. I, uh, I'm going to close this down. I'm not seeing any other comments uh, on this specific issue. Send me some questions during the week and I will respond to them next week. Um, give somebody a call. If you've got a relative you haven't talked for a while, give them a call. A neighbor that uh, is obviously probably shut in, uh, give them a call. Send notes. Uh, our letter carriers still deliver mail. Um, when's the last time that you sent a letter to somebody? Talk to you later. Uh, maybe it's a, a card. You can make your own. Um, those are fun. Have a good day. See you next week, 10 o'clock, and perhaps someplace else, helping somebody in need. Thank you.